Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we are going to take a look at this USB hub. This is the Tuxer USB 3.0. This is a 4 port hub and it comes with a USB type A port. And the model number is TZU12. Now this belongs to my friend. Uh, I have borrowed this for unboxing purpose and testing purposes only. So one of the USB ports on my friend's laptop stopped working and he was using a USB mouse, a USB keyboard and he didn't have any other ports left uh, to connect any other extra devices such as a pen drive uh, or a extra uh, external hard, hard drive and that's why he bought this so without any further delay let's just take a look at what we get in the box as you can see this is the packaging the picture of the usb hub is on the box i'm not sure why my friend chose this particular model but nevertheless let's take a look at what this USB hub is all about so let me just take the uh, packaging out as I said this belongs to my friend so he has he has already unboxed this and I've I asked him to put everything back in the box so this is what you get inside the box a simple cardboard packaging and here is our hub itself so as you can see it comes with a very uh, small cable i would have preferred if i were to buy a usb hub for myself i would definitely go with at least one meter or if i had to choose a shorter cable i would go at least minimum uh, half a meter long cable because this is a very short cable for my use anyways my friend is going to be using this with his laptop so it should be fine with him so that's pretty much what you get in the box and if you wanted to read what's at the back you can see uh, there's not much information given there uh, the one thing that is uh, interesting is that they specifically telling you that it supports uh, 12 tb large capacity uh, portable hard uh, hard drives so there is that so let's keep everything aside now and let's take a look at the uh, hub itself so as you can see the model the company name is written here here's a small blue colored leds leds which glows uh, when the hub is working uh, the cable feels decent quality it's fairly thick fairly stiff that means uh, probably they have used good quality uh, wire inside there here's your usb 3.0 type a port and these are your usb 3.0 ports at the back you can see not much uh, written there just usb 3.0 and 4 port hub is written there again the model number tzu12 uh, if uh, to be a little more precise let me just measure the hub as you can see this is about a little less than seven centimeter in length uh, and the breadth is about two two and a half inch sorry six centimeters or two and a half inch and the thickness of the hub is a little less than one inch or you could say uh, 20 centimeters is thickness the length of the cable is about so let's measure the length of the cable starting from here to there so you can see it is coming out to be about about 11 inches or about 28 centimeters so that's pretty much it let's plug this in a computer and let's see uh, how many devices uh, works on that one important feature i forgot to mention is that it also comes with a small micro usb input so if you want to supply external power to, th to this hub you can do that Maybe you are running something that requires more power, maybe a, 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 a headphone or a webcam that has a lot many LED lights, which takes a lot of power. You may be needing this uh, external power port for that. However, uh, there was no adapter supplied with this unit, no cable supplied with this unit. So if you want to uh, uh, supply external power, you will need to buy your own micro USB cable as well as a, your own uh, extra charger. So there is that. So let us plug this in a computer and let's see how many devices we are able to work with this. Okay, so as you can see, this is my computer. We recently built this computer and it is running Windows 10 at the moment. And as you can see, two of the USB ports on this particular motherboard are already occupied and this only has four USB ports. This is the Asus Prime H510M motherboard and it only came with four usb ports these are the usb 3.0 ports and two of them are already occupied so i'm only left with two usb 2.0 ports so that's that's not very good however it is working for me at the moment but if i were to if i wanted to connect more devices or peripherals uh, 
I would need more USB ports. So let me just connect the USB hub and let's see whether this works or not. All right, so let me just remove my keyboard and mouse dongle. Let's see if it works or not. So this is for my Logitech keyboard and mouse. It supports six devices. So only single dongle is needed for a keyboard and mouse. So there is that. Here comes our hub. Let's see what happens when we connect this to our, and by the way, I'm connecting this to a USB 3.0 port here. So let me just connect that. It's now connected. And once I connect it, you will see that it is displaying a blue colored LED on top of the port and there is no other LEDs on there. At the moment, I have not provided external power to, to this hub. So we will first see how it performs uh, without supplying any external power. And as you can see, because of the shorter cable, I am having to hang this off of my USB port, which is putting a little bit of strain on top of my USB port, which is not good. However, if you were to be using this on a desk, on a laptop, this would be fine. But for me, I would prefer a longer, a longer, cable definitely so let's start plugging a couple of devices and let's see whether it works or not let's start with my keyboard and mouse dongle so let's start from the left as you can see it went in without any problem let us check on a computer whether it is working or not here is our computer and we've just connected our usb dongle here is my mouse and let's see whether my mouse is working or not so as you can see my mouse is working without any problem let's check with our, our uh, keyboard or not let me just create a new file a text document which is created here let open let me just open this and let's see whether our keyboard is working or not so let me start typing hello sir so as you can see my keyboard is also working which is right there so keyboard and mouse check also wireless keyboard and mouse also check so those two are working without any problem so keyboard mouse is working next thing is a usb pen drive let us connect this pen drive so let us connect our pen drive i'm starting from the left the first dongle is for my keyboard and mouse let's connect a pen drive let's see if it is works or not pen drive is not connected let's take a look at our computer and as you can see it got detected there if i zoom it in you will be able to see that our drive send disk drive is now detected if i open this you can see sendisk stuff inside the pen drive now let me show you what is the speed we got when i was not using the hub so this is the speed i got when i was not using the hub so remember this setting i will show you in a bit just yet so this was the speed which i got when i was directly connected the pen drive uh, to my computer now let us do the speed test again and see what is the speed we get when we connected the pen drive through the usb hub so as you can see, I have opened Crystal Disk Mark again. Let me select our pen drive, which is our E drive, 57 GB. Uh, let's click there and let us click on all. And let us come back when the test is finished. And we will compare what is the speed we are getting when the drive was connected to our computer directly and when the drive is connected to our hub. So let us come back when the test is finished. Alright guys, the test is finished using the USB hub. This is the speed test using the hub. Let me open the test when I did when my pen drive was directly connected. So this is the when I did the test with the USB hub connected. So on the left, you will see that this is when I connected the pen drive directly. This is when the pen drive was connected directly. And on the right side, you will see that this is the test when the pen drive was connected through the hub. And as you can see, there is not a very big uh, uh, difference in the uh, performance of this pen drive so the hub is performing uh, really well in this test as you can again let me tell you the left side was when i connected the pen drive directly to my usb port on the motherboard and the right side is when i connected the pen drive through the usb hub through the tugzer usb 4 port hub so this is the speed test so as you can see there is no performance not much performance difference in there so that was the speed test also the pen drive is working so pen drive is also checked Alright guys, so I have removed my SanDisk pen drive because I was getting some interference and my wireless keyboard and mouse wasn't working properly. So I'm not sure whether this was because of the hub or maybe because the SanDisk pen drive is made of metal. Maybe that's why it is causing some interference, but my keyboard and mouse were working intermittently my, when my wireless dongle was connected and the SanDisk pen drive was connected at the same time. However, at the moment I've connected my Kingston drive and as you can see, it is working without any problem.
so with the, with the kingston drive because kingston drive works a little slower probably the kingston drive takes less power or because the kingston drive is also not built with metal that's why it is working properly but sandisk drive is built with metal and that is one of the problem with metal peripherals is that sometimes they can interfere with uh, radio frequencies and prevent your wireless devices from working properly however with the kingston drive as you can see uh, which is connected at the moment kingston drive is working without any problem and my keyboard is also working without any uh, problem so there is that so now let us test a webcam whether a webcam will work on this uh, this usb hub or not so let me bring in my wife uh, webcam so as you can see here is my webcam so let me just plug in at my webcam this is my logitech web camera this is a 720p webcam with a microphone so it should take a decent amount of power and the longer the cable of your webcam sometimes uh, the usb hub can cause a little bit of problem so let me just connect it there so webcam is now connected let's see if it says anything or not let me just open a, a, a camera app inside windows 10 so let me just click on here or camera so as you can see we've got our camera app there so let me click on there and should it should open up our webcam and as you can see our webcam is now visible so as you can see the webcam is working without any problem you can see our keyboard there this is my hand you can see you're watching everything through the webcam and this is how i am shooting this video on my mobile phone so the webcam is also working which is one of the problems with such hubs so webcam is also check so the webcam is also working as you can see again let me bring in my hand in front of the uh, keyboard and as you can see there is the webcam the webcam is now shooting my hand as you can see i am moving my hand and there is no lag whatsoever and again let me reiterate the point that i have still not connected any external power on this hub so i'm still running this without any external power however i have connected this usb hub to my usb 3.0 port so let me just switch the hub from the usb 3.0 port sorry 3.0 port to the usb 2.0 port and let's see whether all these things still able to work or not so let me just switch that so the hub is out from the usb 3.0 port so these are the usb 2.0 port let me plug in there it is now connected and usb 2.0 port supply a little less power comparatively but let us see whether all these things so let's see what are the things that i've connected so i've my connected my wireless dongle my usb dongle for my keyboard and mouse i've connected a kingston pen drive because i was having a little bit of trouble with the sandisk pen drive and i've connected a webcam so there is that so let us see whether all these things are working or not let's start with our camera so as you can see the camera is still here camera is moving i'm moving my hand in front of there as i said this, there is no lag and it is working flawlessly let us check our pen drive again so let me open my computer here is, as you can see this is my computer here is our pen drive kingston pen drive and as you can see it is still working without any problem so the pen drive is working my key as you can see i'm already using my mouse so the mouse is working obviously but let us check whether the keyboard is working or not so i've selected one folder there so let me navigate uh, using the keyboard so i will press the right button and let's see what happens so the keyboard is also working without any problem and still i haven't connected any external power uh, external power to this hub so all the things are connected using the usb 2.0 port on my motherboard and it is still working now there is final test to be done which is connecting an external uh, sata ssd let us let us see whether that is able to work or not all right guys so this will be our final test and as you can see i've got in front of me a 2.5 inch ssd this is a one terabyte or 1000 gb ssd and you can see clearly on the ssd it is written there 5 volt 1.7 ampere is the requirement to run any ssd but ssds usually don't take that much power this is the maximum that they can take and i'm using my pi box sata 2 usb cable so let us see whether it is able to run uh, this ssd external ssd or not so let me just plug it in the hub as well so there is our hub let me put our ssd there and plug this in let's plug it 
plugged in and as you can see I got a prompt there on my Windows 10 screen that means something is detected and it is now connected the hub is now connected with the USB 2.0 port all the four ports are occupied I've got my USB keyboard and mouse I've got a pen drive I've got my web camera running at the same time and I've got uh, the SSD connected at the same time now let us see if all these things are working or not so let us start from our keyboard and mouse so let's start from our mouse so as you can see mouse is working I am hovering my mouse my mouse is working without any problem I'm not feeling any lag in the mouse let me select a folder and let me try to navigate using the keyboard I will be pressing the right key on my keyboard right right down left left down as you can see the keyboard is also working let's take a look at the uh, our webcam here is the webcam let me move my finger in front of the webcam the webcam is also working without any problem let's check our pen drive so this is my computer let's see this is the pen drive let me just open that the pen drive is also displaying without any problem the final test was connected the external ssd and as you can see 931 gb our ssd is, ssd is also detected which is showing up as f drive as you can see all my videos are available here so there is that all the files on my uh, one terabyte or 1000 GB drive is now being displayed so 931 GB is also displaying so everything connected all the four ports on our USB hub is now occupied and it, it is still working however if you have some trouble with the hub make sure to connect some kind of external power so that you don't face any problem while using the uh, hub so there is that uh, one thing i do wanted to mention is that because i have not connected any external power to the hub it is taking all the power from the motherboard so your motherboard is supplying more power to the hub if you want your motherboard to do less work uh, if you please connect external power to the hub that way your motherboard will be doing less work most of the power need would be taken care of by an external power source and your motherboard will not strain too much so there is that so if you want to use this uh, quite often make sure you invest a little money into an external power source it only takes a usb micro usb cable you can use any power bank or a usb 5 volt adapter uh, because sometimes there some of the devices of our uh, some devices comes with a little longer cable which may be a little problematic while connecting through a hub those devices may work directly connected to the motherboard but sometimes those devices will not work when connected through the hub for some reason it happens with some devices sometimes it can happen with a microphone or a pen drive or a printer but uh, as far as my usage case is concerned everything worked worked without any problem and that too i'm using currently at a usb 2.0 port and i'm still not using usb 3.0 port so with the usb 2.0 port all the four ports occupied a web camera a keyboard and mouse a pen drive and an external usb ssd one terabyte ssd it worked without any problem i'm not saying that this is the best hub but there are better many other hubs that are available in the market i'm pretty sure all the hubs that are that comes at a decent price will perform as good as this particular one so anyways this was the video test of the tuxer usb 3.0 a four port usb hub the only gripe i have this about this hub is that it comes with a very short cable if it came with at least a meter long or even a half a meter long cable i would have given it full marks uh, out of uh, 10. anyways this was my video on this usb 3.04 port hub i hope you find this video helpful thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video and before i end this video let me tell you something i did have a little bit of problem on windows 7 computer so if you are running on windows 7 computer try looking at try do a little more research before you purchase a hub for a windows 7 computer so there is that. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye bye.